After we went home and the people were still there, we thought, okay, we better just test. Yeah, the other side was like, <laughs> I took the test. It's positive. I have COVID. What happens now? Did they, what did you think of your results? Previously on our staycation, Inez got really sick and you would never think that your kid would have COVID, right? Because it's just one of those things where your kids just fall sick. We went on a staycation at Shangri-La Hotel and it was such a great hotel and everything was going great until I woke up on Saturday morning. My throat felt like death. It was so dry. When mommy was like, are you done? We need to go a late for breakfast. When I tried to yell yes, it came out as a my condition progressively got worse throughout the day until at night I had a 38 degree fever and on Sunday it got a bit better once I got home so I took the test I didn't think I had COVID right it's gonna be negative and then I saw the test result it's positive I thought okay maybe it's like a false positive so I took another ART test and it also came back as positive. All the panic started happening. I have COVID. What happens now? I just self-isolated in my room. According to the new COVID guidelines, you're supposed to recover at home for a fixed amount of time and then retake the test so that once it's negative, then you can slowly resume like daily activity. So the first thing we had to do was to remove Leon from her room because they sleep in the same room so there's no way we could have him in the same room and risk him also getting COVID because he is absolutely not vaccinated. And after that, we had to minimise contact. She could only use a separate toilet from the rest of us. Today is day one of self-isolation. They moved my brother out of our room. So now I'm here alone. I was very sad. I ended up crying in my bed. We also couldn't have dinner with her, so she was literally being like sent meals to her room. One of the nights we even FaceTimed her because it was so weird to have dinner without her. It was just like this empty Ines space and there was no Ines. Hello, today is day two. Um, I am currently watching the replay of my math tuition because I didn't go, so now I have to watch the replay. I'm doing work. So I'm about to eat dinner. Today we have brown rice with black sauce chicken. Then we also have broccoli. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? <coughs> Beyonce, how are you feeling? I need to pee. Uh, that's not how you're feeling. Keiko has been keeping me company today. She looks a bit sad. I think it's because I'm not really playing with her, but I'm trying not to like touch her. If I touch her, I then I could spread the virus to her. She actually took the test on Tuesday. The Thursday, she was already negative. So it was only two full days of whole isolation. So after day two, Leon was already like, I want to go back to play with my toys. Can I get into my toys? I tested and it was negative. Yes, no more COVID. COVID-free life. On the weekend, the kids actually go over to stay with my mom and dad and also we wanted to bring them out shopping before we send them over. So to be very, very considerate citizens of Singapore, we decided that we should also all take the test to make sure that none of us were positive and that we could safely go out and meet the world. That's a test waiting there on the table, which is you now, okay? Brave boy, okay. So you know it's just going to be in your nose for like 10 times. Let's go everyone. So I think Inez was really lucky because in the same week she got COVID, she still got to go out and buy her pair of Nike shoes. Where are we going, Leon? Nowhere. Oh, we're going to Jewel. Going when are your results coming back? Tomorrow. Decide whether we're going to Nike or Bata, depending on the results. Go to Bata. Yes. Bye. 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 Bye.
think her results deserve the Nike shoe? Yeah. Tete, what did you think of your results? Why are we going there? Because of love. Yeah, everything that we all love to do so much. Yes. Where are we going? We're going to Batara, right? <laughs> Bata and Jewel? <laughs> We're driving all the way, there's Bata just next door. <laughs> How much money did you bring? Why does he just want to keep chicken? It's a big deal. Daddy! Oh, don't blame daddy. Of oh, course, you saw that Leon has two shoes and then you get it. Yeah! Oh, and I want to get it and I want to buy stuff. My dad, I, your grandpa, he will only co pay for me. Which means that he's going to like, just like, buy me the whole thing like wholesale. And then he's going to co pay for the shoes. That's why he got out money. Let's say he has 100 bucks. We'll see what he can get with 100 bucks. We have to get Air Force One. Why can't you get like other designs? Maybe the other design is not nice. The yellow one? Why does it look like a wing? Huh? <laughs> All this is just a design thing. You're cute! I don't know. I saw you want these ones, the yellow one. Look, mine has like pink things that I just tried. It's all gonna have pink shoes, isn't it? Cute! Um, Nike marketing team, please uh, <laughs> yes. reach out to us. We are for family life now, you know? Bye! Bye! Give Teddy the $100 quick. So I guess this episode kind of shows us that COVID is something we really have to just manage. It's not something that you keep on having to go to the clinic and you clog up the entire clinic just because you tested positive. I think that initially Ines was pretty scared. I was more concerned that Leon would get it. I really hope that Leon's age group gets vaccinated soon. I do think that it's not that serious if you've been vaccinated. However, some people did say, how come Ines is vaccinated and then she still gets all these symptoms? So it could be that her immune system is not very good and didn't respond very well to the vaccine. If you've tested positive for COVID, we'd love to hear more about your experiences and share this video because I think it's important for people to know that self-isolation mode is currently the main way that we're dealing with it as a community and it's not that scary but of course if you do have severe symptoms, you absolutely need to go to the hospital. So not giving the medical advice, just sharing how we dealt with it as a family. I hope you subscribe and like this video and comment on the video. Go follow my mother on all her other social media platforms like TikTok and Instagram. Yay! So maybe... Oh my god, mother! So... I'm going to start from so... So I think that Inez was really lucky because in the same week that she got... So I think that Inez is really lucky because it... Bloopers. <laughs>